Today we're going to draw a basic picture, what a background might look like for a drawing. I usually don't start with any idea in mind for what's going to come and just allow something to arrive from my imagination that day. I might draw something like this in front of the kindergarten, my kindergarten class. It's uh, not a demonstration of how they should draw, but just how an adult would draw a picture and use the crayons. So I am starting with a rainbow. So I've put some blue and green, yellow, light, uh, golden yellow, orange, red, and even a little purple in the picture. Children love rainbows, and so it's always a really wonderful way to make a picture come alive by starting with the rainbow. And in the world, there are all of the colors of the rainbow in everything we see if you really look deeply. So here I'm defining where I might have grass, hills, and then I'm gonna put a little distance in, maybe some distant mountains. I'm just keeping it very simple. And I'm pressing, you know, a little harder on one edge to create the definition of the mountains. And I'm leaving kind of a golden light in the middle because that's where my figure or my picture might arrive. And that you don't have to do that, but it allows for um, the colors to show up when you're drawing a figure or something in the foreground. And then you can go back and make it darker around that image a little bit later. So here I'm adding some trees. So first I'm gonna use some blue to define where the trees are gonna be. Then I'll go over that with some green and at the end, I'm gonna use some indigo just to make them appear that like they're really, really close. It always is nice to have multiple colors on top of each other or uh, representing the same, the image. It brings it alive. You know, we have light and shadow. And so there are always multiple colors in everything. Nothing is one solid color if you look at it. And it's also important to have in your image, you know, you have the landscape, you have the mountains, which is kind of the rocky world and the, the earth uh, represented by the grass. And we have trees which are alive in a certain way. And then you might add something else to the image. I'm gonna stop with just the landscape, but I think that there could be a bear climbing across the, the grassy hills. There could be a person hiking. There are many different ways that you could bring the image even more alive. That's it for today. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you learned something. Um, I'll be making more videos as time goes on. So please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.